Hello everybody and welcome back to Marwa Manor Farm. But this time of course with the uh, new Anderson DLC. So what we're going to do to begin with is go over to the store where I have all of the Anderson equipment lined up and we're going to go and grab the appropriate auto stacker which I think is going to be the 7200 um, because I need to get the one for the square bells instead of the round bells. So yeah, okay. So. Uh, Steve, yeah, of course it's a DLC show off because that's what the title says. So yeah, it's about the DLC, but I'm going to be doing quite a bit of stuff within Marwa Manor Farm um, in the new area, uh, in the new farm which we're going to be building. So, uh, yeah, like I say, auto stacker. There's four different auto stackers in the DLC. Uh, the one which I do need though is, is really just the 7200 uh, because the other ones are for either wrapped bales or for, for round bales. So, that is the one for me. Once that's done, I then need to take over the um, extractor. I need to take the extractor to the new farm. And that is where we're going to produce the long line of wrapped bales. So, plenty to do. And if we do have time at the end as well, we'll do a bit of uh, work with the uh, poplars. Now, which one is the uh, 7200? Let's take a look here. I'm guessing it is this one in the middle. I think so. After all, I did do the... Uh, the first of video. This one here. That's right. Okay. So, let's go over there and start picking up some square bales. Ryan says, I'm using every DLC. Yep, everything which is out so far. This is the first one. Everything which is within the Anderson DLC, I've got. So, obviously we're not necessarily going to use every piece of equipment in it because some of it is stuff I don't even need today. But, yeah, I mean, it's there if I do need it. Okay, so uh, where has the money come from? The money was added in just for the DLC. I'm going to be getting rid of the money again later. I've got a lot of Australians watching me currently. Nearly everybody's saying hello from Australia. Uh, I'm guessing it's morning for you. Must be the reason. Um, how much does the DLC cost? It's roughly $10, but obviously you'll have to use a currency converter if you are in a different country. Hello MJ Modding, welcome to the stream. I'm very well, thanks. How are you? Yeah, it's 9.99 in euros and dollars somehow. Um, it's about £7.50. Anyway, here we are. This is the field. And I demonstrated in the previous video the, uh, the wrapper, but I don't want them here. I want them in the new field. So that's what we're gonna do. While this chat is livening up, we have got so many people from Australia. Um, Robert, uh, hello from Wales. Looking forward to this DLC. So far, it does look very good. And thank you to you, Robert. So I think what I'm going to do is do one load at a time. So we take over a massive load of bales, I think 16 or something, and then we wrap those bales and then come back for a few more. And then when everybody wants to move on, we can move on to doing some poplar work with the Bio Baylor. Not bad yourself, just trying to get this stupid map to work. Is that your map? Or is that another map? What is my favourite tractor brand? Massey Ferguson, but I do like many. It's not just Massey Ferguson. Welcome, Michael. Thank you so much for doing the moderating. Yeah, so obviously, this is part of the DLC for anybody who's just joined. Um, one of the four auto sackers. Ah, oh, Gav as well. Good to have you here. In Australia, it's currently 9.32am. Yeah, I thought it might be morning. It would make perfect sense. Yes, it looks like we are picking up these... The, oh no, actually, it's the same way around, isn't it? Yeah, it just looks different. It's a different type of pickup over the Arcus in Auto Stacker. Simon, hello Dagger, love your vids from Denmark. Thank you so much Simon, good to hear that you enjoy the videos. Yeah, for anybody who has just joined, this DLC is not currently out. It comes out on the 26th of March and it costs 9.99 in dollars. Uh, so, it's some, something like £7.50. Almost there. We've got, I think, space for two more. Hello from New Zealand, that is Hamish, and so you were one of the lucky ones from Nimrod. 
Yeah, uh, well, most, I think most YouTubers who do Farming Simulator got it. Hopefully they did. The Squad Gaming, uh, thank you for that donation. Much appreciated. Do you have anything planned for your 500k special? To be honest, I really don't know what to do. I, I keep saying this, I keep saying what can I do, and there really is nothing in particular different that I could do. So I'm going to have to keep thinking about it, but yeah, I really don't know. Right, so we've got 16 bells. What we're going to do now is go to a new area which nobody else has ever seen before in its current state. Obviously, the area we're going to is actually in the base game, but uh, yeah, it is uh, modified by me. The squad gave me again. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I know that you you do post a lot of super chats, which is very kind of you. Why do I do my live stream so late? That crops up in every live stream. It is the only time I've got to do them because in the evening I am busy recording my video for the following day. So in this case I've been recording the survival roleplay. Uh, and the rest of the day I'm busy doing other stuff. Robert, uh, woohoo! <laughs> Finally got a notification. It's good to know because I know that YouTube has been uh, not very good with notifications recently. Yeah, they've been just not sending them out. or so sending them out about three hours after the stream finishes. Which really isn't much use to anybody. Right, we've got beacons for this next 300 yards. We must have the beacons on. It's very important. Um, <laughs> Steve's Mods. Hello, Steve Mods. Okay, that's not my area. Actually, that is my area. Yes, this is the area. I have just produced this driveway. Just here. This used to be just grass. And uh, this was thanks to a viewer who mentioned it. So here we are. I'm going to just basically drop it off here. We're going to produce a long line of silage bells to the right of me. Uh, so actually I should probably put them up the top here because what's going to happen is it's going to push the extractor further down. So we start up here, we should finish off down there. That is of course assuming that I've got this right, otherwise I'm going to start here and end up in the trees. So let's just hope for the best. Right, okay, they, they do drop off with some power, <laughs> which is understandable. Now to tab through... Got this. I don't think the Mani 2 will attach to the extractor. If it does, then great, but I don't think it will do. Actually, oh no, it could do, because it's got one of those fairly lightweight hitches. Good. Okay, that makes it very useful. Um, hello from Sweden, that's from William. Somebody else from Australia there, Holden Man. Welcome. Do you use OBS to stream? Yes, I do. OBS is exactly what I use to stream. Uh, I was reading a comment then, but Nightbot deleted it. That does happen all the time. Yes, yeah, so this is the start of it. This is the start of the first long sausage of silage. Mmm, silage sausage. Uh, it's going to be as, as long as I, I can get it, to be honest. It's going to probably have to have two side by side because the field isn't endless. It's obviously got a limit to it. But we'll try and do it the full length of the field, if we can do. It's going to be big. It's going to be very big, actually. Um, Blocky Games, welcome. Hello from Ireland. Uh, Ross, hi Dagwin, love your videos. Is Survivor Roleplay on tomorrow? Keep up the good work. Yes, it is, Ross. Yep, Survivor Roleplay is tomorrow. And thanks to you. A lorry. Let's cut in front of it. Oh, that might have been a bit too... Yes, over the top. Uh, eating cookie dough ice cream and watching Dagger. Nice, <laughs> Rich. Uh, right, so I think that if I put this up here, it should roll backwards. Pretty sure it's going to. So if I start it about there, then we should end up the far side. If I've got it wrong, it will start there and then end up in the trees. So we'll soon find out. Matthew is from... Oh, blimey. No, he's not from Oh, blimey. He's from... Manchester. I have just almost taken over the entire stack. Right, so we need to unfold this. That's done. That was very simple. Um, yes, what we need to do is grab the first ones. I don't know if I can sort of push this and take two at a time. I doubt it, but I'm going to try it anyway, because, you know, I tend to push stuff. Um, 
I must apologise, I can't pronounce that name, but just thought I would be fair to do a super chat once I was able to catch one of the streams. Keep up the good work, thank you. And uh, uh, Malin, is it? I, I must apologise, I am horrific with names. Um, Oyvind? I I'm not sure, I must apologise. But thank you. Okay, somebody's saying wrong way, Tyler's saying wrong way. I'm just going to think about this. I am pretty sure that this is the right way. So I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to stick with what I thought initially and just do this. Of course it'd be obvious because as soon as it moves, we'll know. If that moves backwards then great. It's moving backwards, great. Perfect. So I've got it right. So yeah, 3 at a time is not what you're supposed to do. You should never do 3. Well, that was very easy. Uh, at this rate, we're going to get this done fairly quickly. I'll keep taking three. Just so we can speed things up a bit. Oh, that almost went. Aaron, uh, thank you for that. And uh, Oivind is fairly correct in the top five of foreigners trying to pronounce my name. <laughs> oh, well. At least I wasn't massively off um, and I got I made it top five nice oh I'm moving that probably shouldn't move it quite so much it is supposed to be moving though the, the problem I've got here is I've actually got the bale stuck to my spine there we go right okay I am very well thank you hopefully everyone else is too Ben says, bells stress me out. To be honest, I'm useless at stacking the bells, so they, they can stress me out too, but when it just takes it like that, it just basically takes it off the spike for you. It makes it fairly easy. Let's put some lights on. Right, I probably should have taken some of the top heavy weight off that, but anyway, let's just keep going. Virtual Farmer, welcome to the stream. Good to have you here. It is, yeah, it's a bit busier than uh, the other night. For some reason, I don't think YouTube sent any... Well, it must have sent some out, but not many notifications. But it was good. Still a very enjoyable stream. Repair the Manny 2, Thomas says. Ah, oh, that's good. Uh, yes, I probably should do. It's about half, though, so it's not, it's not like, really desperate. So in a minute, what we'll do is we'll jump out and take a look at what it's done. You might be able to see anyway. Yeah, that works. You're not supposed to put three in, but it is just going to work. It should just take it. Oh, by the way, today is the first day of me using the new uh, Logitech G29, the replacement that I got. And thankfully, it's good. So that's really made me happy today, because uh, I've got to say, I was disappointed with the first one. So, happy that the second one was good. So there you go. You can see we are now producing this long line. I keep calling it a sausage, but it's not even sausage shaped. It would be if I was using the uh, round bales. Mad Dog, uh, hello Dagoin from the USA. Like the vids you're putting out. Thank you so much. And also Jimmy uh, Anderson. Great name. Greetings from Sweden. Like what you got so far? Certainly, yeah. It, well, obviously, some some viewers may think Oh, you're just going to say it's good because you got it for free, which I did. I, I will openly say that I got it for free, because I did. And if I'm honest, I would prefer the class, something like class or Kabocha or something like that. But as a DLC, for something you have to pay for, from what I've seen so far, it's a decent quality. So I've got nothing bad to say about it. I'll put it that way. And I do like this silage setup because it means that we can actually now unwrap the silage and put it into the mixer instead of just putting the wrap in as well. Like you wouldn't put the plastic in the mixer, that would be ridiculous. And not only would you be feeding the animals the plastic, but it would also damage the machine. Um, let's just put, I shouldn't have taken that. Right, let's just tab back to the John Deere. Here we go. I still have three more. Actually, do I have crop destruction? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Good, right, anyway, we'll bring some more in. We'll get another few loads. 
yeah, the bells are pushing the wrapper backwards, um, I think. Unless it is actually propelling itself, I don't know. Obviously it does have drive, because you can drive it, so it might be propelling itself. If it, it, if it is doing, it's very clever actually, because it's detecting that it needs to move. So, I really don't know. You would have thought it just has rollers, which allow the bell to move. Um, yeah, you wouldn't have thought the bells would have the strength to move it. So, yeah, it must be moving itself. It must be propelling itself backwards or forwards. That is a question I've had quite a bit, actually, and I'm going to try and answer it for you uh, now. Basically, this question has come up a lot, and that is, if you have produced a bale, a wrapped bale, in another way, not through the, uh, the long line like that, can you unwrap it? Can you take the wrap off and do it as you would do like this? The way I'm going to do this is basically to buy some silage bells, just to see if I can unwrap them. If I was to have a guess, I would say you can't do, because obviously it's a different method. But it is definitely worth having a go. I need to be in the bail category, obviously. So, let's just go for some round ones here, if we just buy them. Not too sure if I have anything over at the store. We may have to teleport. But, yes, I don't think it will work, but I can't say without trying. Now, oh, there's my bail. <laughs> uh, yes, it doesn't come up with the option of opening it, as you can see. So I am obviously going to stick with my initial guess of, no, you cannot open a bale which has been purchased or made in another way. But I'm not going to say for sure because I don't know 100%. If I go to, I guess we can't have uh, a wrapped square bale. But yeah, there we go. That's basically it. Is this a modded map? Yes, it is. This is by Oxygen David, Marwa Manor Farm. It's not what I want. There we go. There we go. That's what I want. Right. Okay. <laughs> Let's get the next load. I still have forgotten to turn off the, the mod, which is already doing the job of the patch. But it's fine. We can still make out how full it is. Nintendo games, there's your shout out. Don't tend to do a uh, shout out so. Otherwise, everybody wants one. So I just say hello to everybody. <laughs> it's the best way of doing it. Hi from Wales. Hello, everyone from Wales. Yes, yeah, so I hope that does answer everybody's question who had uh, a query about the unwrapping of bales. Pretty much guaranteed has to be from the line that we produce. Dawson Chaddock, uh, hello from Canada. Thank you so much for that, and hello from Canada. <laughs> hello, Canada. Uh, Peter, thank you to you as well. Are you going to collect all the bells? Not in this uh, stream, it would take forever. We're just going to do some, just so I can keep demonstrating the wrapper. And then we'll probably move on to some uh, some popular work. Keep the stream about an hour long or so. That's what it tends to be. Right, so we are... That's 10 out of 16. I don't know if there's a limit to how many bells you can actually produce in the long line. I, if I was to have a guess, again, I would say it's endless, but you never know, there could be a limit. Because I don't know exactly how it's working. When you produce a bale, it produces another i3d file, or model, um, from what I can understand. So I don't know if every time you add a bale it's another, it's another model, or if it is actually adding it to it, I really don't know. Because I'm not a modder, and I'm not going to try and make myself sound like a modder, because otherwise... <laughs> I make myself uh, myself sound stupid, so yeah, I, I'm just guessing that it's endless. I really don't know. Jordan says, "Why bother giving us the same size square baler stacker as the base game one?" That's full. Uh, 
Well, it's a different brand. Obviously, I can't speak for Giants here. But if I just go into here, let's just take a quick look. That one is round, round, square, and square. 14 and 16. Yep, so I'm just going to say for that, it's just a different brand, you know, a bit of variety. It's nice to have a bit of variety. Justin. Very much appreciated. Thank you very much, Justin. Okay, we've been uh, sticking around the 1,000 views for a while now, so I much appreciate that too. Uh, good to see so many of you in here. Watching me fail with some bales. <laughs> it should be my slogan. Let's just fail. Every day we're failing. Apache, Kamasabi, is it? Hello from Australia. No, Cal California. My screen is a long way from me. Hello from California. Thank you so much. Why don't you use the front bumper? I could do. Again, it's something I want to use. Um, I, I thought the uh, front bumper came for the bio bailer, but I'm not entirely sure now. Uh, Zaytrang, is it? Or X Exatrang? Zaytrang? Thank you for your super chat there. Sean says, Dagman, if you buy a grass bale, can you use the wrapper to wrap the bales? I would have thought so. Yeah, I can't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to. Again, can't say for sure without trying it, but I can't see why you wouldn't be able to, because it is just a grass bale, just like these. There's no difference. Dagwin, failing while bailing TV. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Yep, yeah, that's, that's about right. I'm going to attempt not to knock this stack over, because I do tend to knock the stacks over. Right, I'll just give myself a bit of space here. Tab through to the telehandler. Uh, maybe you can use a helper with the bio bailer if you use the bumper. It's a good point, definitely a good point. I'd have to try it again. Um, yeah, if we move on to that later, I'll put the bumper on. Although, actually, I'm using the Challenger, and or the Cat, and it probably doesn't even have the ability to uh, connect a bumper. But I wouldn't have thought a bumper would stop a worker from working, but you never know. It could do. FS Gaming says Giants could have done a lot better DLC. Well, you know, it's extending the... Uh, machinery range. The more brands you have, I guess, the better. And it's not... Although some things are, you know, the same sort of thing, like an auto stacker, some things are new, like this. This is new, and the, the bio bale is new, so there are new aspects to the game. Right, I could actually be using the uh, Satek side panel here. I will do. Otherwise you're going to be listening to my mouse clicks all the time. Uh, failing while bailing. Yep, yep, that's the new slogan. Surprised it took so long to be thought of, actually, because it happens in every stream. Uh, that, Yeah, that is definitely moving, although I did assist it. Could do with booming out a bit. Right, okay, so it's now time to drop off this load. I think at this rate we're just going to do one long line and then we'll move on. Now for anybody who thinks, oh no, you've just brought yourself in. Yes, I won't be going until that has been cleared. When is Peterville happening? I don't know actually. MJ is in the chat, I think, so you might have an idea, but if it's with Giants then usually I think it's just in Giants time, so whenever they're ready. Because they are thorough with the testing, so it does take a while. And I, I don't know how big the team is that does it, but I don't think it's massive, so... Yeah, it just takes time. Jason, thank you so much for that. Three and one. 
It's not the way to do it, but it just is. <laughs> it's the way I'm going to do it. Uh, unless it knocks one off the back. Which you might hear. Yeah. Oh, it's going to knock them both off. Right. Okay. Uh, oh, nicely held. Okay. okay, let's come over the other side. Good. Right. Put some more in there. Yeah, it's definitely pulling itself backwards, but whenever I assist it, it does like to move more, as if it, it doesn't have the power to move it, so maybe it is just the bales that are doing it. Let's get these cleared first. Oh, actually, that's pushing those bales. Must be propelled. Although it only has a single cylinder petrol engine. Do you prefer survival or 19? Uh, well, the Survivor Series is on 17, but yeah, I do 19 as well. Uh, to be honest, I like, I enjoy doing both. I enjoy recording Survival on both of them, if that's what you mean. I'm not entirely sure what you were asking there, but yep, yeah, it's enjoyable to do Survival on 19 and 17. Just tuned in, what's going on at the moment? I am busy failing with bales. We're going to be putting some more bales into this wrapper. And then we're going to move on to the bio baler. At least that's the plan. Uh, Randy says there is a ram that pushes on the bales. That is what moves the wrapper. I, I guess I could just take a closer look, but thank you for the information. Okay, we've got a ram in here. Is that a ram in question? I'm assuming it is. Oh, that could just be the unfold for the, uh, the rear roller thing. Here? Not sure. Anyway. All I need to know is that it works. And it does work, so that is fine. Quite a good line now. The KLM channel says, Dagwin, the bale feeder, failure. I like it. Oh, oh the bale, bale failure. That's me. I thought you meant feeder to begin with, that thing there. But no. The failure who is feeding the bale thing. When you unload, you can see it push the final bale off. Oh yeah, yeah, there is that thing in there, that pusher. Yes, that is actually shown in my previous video. It's actually keeping it fairly straight too, which is surprising. Because usually, whenever I do stuff, it always goes off at an angle. What does the bumper actually do? Well, I'm assuming, now I've thought about it, I'm assuming it is just for the uh, the bales, for doing the auto stacking. So if you've got a bale facing the wrong way, you can spin it round. Oh yeah, I, got, I saw somebody get really angry a few streams back about the way I say assume. It's, it's just my accent. Um, I know that some people say assume, but here in the UK you don't tend to. Some people might, but... Just depends where you're from. Okay, we've got three more after this one. He's English, he can't help it. <laughs> You certainly can't help your accent. When are you going to sell the wrapped bales? When the price is at a great demand. That would be the best thing to do. And I suppose what we could do as well is uh, unwrap them, or even not unwrap them. I know you would have to. Yeah, unwrap them and pick them up again with the auto stacker and take them over to the BGA. Make a load of money. When does the DLC come out? It comes out on the 26th of March.
As usual, I have absolutely no idea how many viewers I've got because my view counter has once again frozen. Uh, it's always freezing. I don't know why. Right. The final bail. Just trying to think, should we do another load or should I move on? It's quite a good line, to be honest, but it, it, it could be bigger. I did say we're going to go all the way to the fence. That would be... Well, no, we get another one. Yeah, we get another load. That's the best thing to do. We get one more load. Or we could actually come back to it. We could come back to it. We could do a bit of poplar work. Come back to here. Keeps us, keeps us going with a bit of variety. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll drive this tractor back to the field, then go across to the cat. Do a bit of poplar work for maybe 5-10 minutes, because it is uh, a fairly repetitive job. And then come back to this. Because we might as well. What will the DLC cost? That is a question that comes up quite a bit. It is $9.99 in dollars. Put the bumper on first. I'm going to have to take a look at the front of the cat to see if it will actually support it. With it being a tracked tractor, I wouldn't have thought it would support it. Depends if it has a front three-point linkage. It is popular poplar, yes. Yes, you can pre-order. Let's cut in front of that car. It is a fairly good looking auto stacker though. What I would say as well with the auto stackers is uh, if you forget the square bales because yeah, the, cap the capacity is exactly the same, we do actually have an auto stacker designed for wrapped bales which we didn't have before which is very nice and also a much higher capacity round baler because before we only had the Arcus in auto stacker and uh, well that was that was small. It's very small. Eight bales is the capacity for that. In fact, I should have it here. Somewhere. There it is. The Ursus thing. Oh yeah, the Arcus in was the uh, square. The Ursus is eight bales, which was the biggest round. We now have 24. 24 bales, which is very good. I'm just going to leave this here. We'll be back to it very soon. Right, let's take a look at the front of the cat, as it has been requested. No, nope, unfortunately the bumper is not going to fit to the cat because it's got this weight block on, so I can't be uh, using the bumper, but I'm sure you can imagine it. Yep, that's the way of experiencing it, you just imagine what it looks like. I'll stick it on a tractor later, if I have time. But you can see these bells which we've produced. Uh, as for where you take them to, I'm guessing you take them to either the uh, sawmill or the BGA. But yeah, sawmill would be my first guess. Why did you cheat money? The money was cheated just so we could actually buy all of the equipment for me to show off. Otherwise, my first look video would be me saying, oh, I have no money, but I want to show you everything, but I can't do. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Uh, it would mean just showing you everything in the store. There is a bale in my way. I think what you'd do is you'd offset it to the other side, so you've always got at least a tractor's width between. Uh, otherwise, yeah, the bales are always in the way. Or you could reverse back and off to the side. That would be another good thing to do. Can you wrap the poplar bales with the extractor? Well, that should be mentioned here. I don't think so. It's, it does say silage, so unlikely. Also, you, you, you wouldn't want to uh, ferment wood chips, I wouldn't have thought. Let's just bring this in a bit. This is the last time we're going to have a bale in the way. Bruce, pe uh, please uh, say happy birthday to my pal 
Aaron, he's 21 today. Happy birthday, Aaron. And thank you to you, Bruce. There we go, sorted. Nathan says, yes, I stumbled upon a Dagwin stream. He tripped up on it. He tripped upon the Dagwin stream. We're here to use the Anderson DLC. Two super chats together. Noraf 142, you really should mention the difference between the two square bell trailers, since one is a stacker and one is a collector. This is full. Um, yes, I'll look into that. And the farmhand, thanks for streaming before midnight. We chaps on the continent appreciate it. Well, thank you for that incredibly generous donation there, um, the farmhand. I appreciate that too. Um, massively. And also, Dylan, thank you for that. Um, right, so yeah, as that's been mentioned, I'll take a look. One is a collector, one is a stacker. I'm pretty sure they're both auto stackers. So this one here. It's round, it's round, it's round, okay. Um, they are both auto stackers, aren't they? Felix, just wanted to make a donation. Your vids are awesome, keep it up. With love from Sweden. Thank you so much, Felix. Did I miss somebody before that? I'm not too sure. If I miss somebody, thank you anyway. I don't think there is a massive difference between them, to be honest. But now you've mentioned it, i better take a look. This is the other one just here. Yeah, they're both auto-stackers. They both auto-stack. So, yep. They both collect. Right, let's get this uh, back on track. Back on track. Yeah, it's a tracked tractor. What a terrible joke. That one's been set off to the side, so it's not going to get in the way again. It might just be me, but I am not very good at controlling this baler. Chances are it is just me. Do you know if there are any Massey packs coming out? Not that I'm aware of, not at the moment. Do you like the cat? I do, yeah. I think this cat is really nice. I'm surprised that so many people appear to not like it. It's got such a boxy shape. It's just, you know, the classic boxy tractor shape. The stereotypical shape of a tractor. I guess if you're just used to the modern stuff, or maybe if you were if you're relatively young and you've grown up with the, the modern shape stylish tractors um, yeah maybe that's why some people don't like it but you know I, when I it's 90s I think and obviously I was born in the 90s so it means quite a bit to me these were the tractors of the time the big ones and right, now I can go back down offset Pull that across, and then you're going to have fun watching me reverse it. Okay. <laughs> At least the uh, G29 is now a replaced one, so it's not squeaking. Andy Knight. Hi, Dagger. Can't wait to use the new DLC. Keep up the great videos. I watch them every day. Thank you so much, Andy. Maybe see you in the server soon. And at Noraf. 142. Try the other one. I'm hoping it doesn't stack. I'm pretty sure they both do stack. Pretty sure. I'm sure they all do. There's four. Four auto stackers. We've got round. Yep. That all do stacks. That one, that one, that one. Yep. They all do. They've all got the. Uh, Pick her upper on the side. I'm full again, I can't believe this. We're getting many bales. Won't 24 bales get too high to reach? 
actually, yeah, I'm intrigued to see how it does unload them. I haven't actually unloaded the round bales before. It does it on two layers, the 24 bales. So it might just, you know, flip it up like it always does. I'm assuming it does actually, because it's the only way it can really do it. But yeah, it would be quite high. Noraf says 142. No, Noraf142 says they all collect but not stack. Alright. I will I'm obviously I'm gonna try these over the next few days. Um I do need to look into the round bells. What I can do actually is buy some round bells and try it. That's what I'll do. I'll do it. I'll buy 24 round bells and try it. Once we have the next full load. which is now. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be quite interesting to see. You, you've actually brought up a very good point here. Look at these bales though. They look good. Very interesting. Right, let's shut that off. Go back over to the store. Um, I should really have a tractor here. Since I'm going to get rid of it again, I'll just buy... Something like a John Deere. We'll attach it to one of these big round bales. Square. I'll do both. Keep everybody happy. I'll do round first. Uh, so, if I go to the 24 bale collector, which I think is this one here, uh, I'm going to have to get the model numbers right. Because they all have different purposes. Right, so that one is just... Actually, let me just check. I've got a printed out list of the function of all. Right, so the uh, RB580 is for round bells. The RBM2000 is for round bells. Uh, we then have the Stack Pro 7200, which is for square bells. And the TSR3450, which is for square bells. So I've already demonstrated the... Stack Pro 7200. So basically, uh, if I want to do wrapped, it's the RBM Pro 2000. So we'll do the RBM 2000 without the Pro. It is the only way of doing it. Which I think is that one over there. And there. This one here. Right. Okay, I figured it out. Sorry to, to bore you. This is our round bale RBM 2000. Good. <laughs> um, so if I just purchase them Mr. Corsa says the round bells are a stack in line they do not stack upwards David Cox, uh, thank you for your very generous donation as well Dagoin, it's awesome it's awesome, thank you thank you very much David um, much appreciated so if I go for these that's eight I'll go for three lots of these right okay so there's not a great deal of space but even so and when I come to demonstrate the other one I take it over to the field I've got a lot of tidying up to do because when I come back to the main series I can't have any of this stuff we didn't actually buy it And this may take a while. So I'm assuming that's just going to push back. Oh no, it just keeps going. Three at a time. That is quite impressive. It extends just here to lift up. One more from this, and then I need to clear some space. There's the bumper. Coming through. Yes, that will do.
just need to get this thing loaded up fairly quickly. Dowler82 says, I didn't get the notification. Yeah, I know YouTube's being a bit funny at the moment. For some channels it's fine, it's actually promoting them massively, but for others it's just sort of maybe half sending out notifications and then gives up with the rest. Like, oh, you've had enough notifications now, we're going to promote somebody else. Sim R. Now I believe you are actually the viewer who mentioned the cut through two videos back, which I have already done. Not too sure if you've been watching from the beginning, but it was a very good idea. Excuse me, auto stacker. I could actually unload now, but I think as we've already gone this far, I might as well fill it up. That. That's 19 out of 24. And it's going to be quite difficult to get these. I should send out a community post now before a stream. I might have to, because, well, it used to be fine. They used to just send out the notifications anyway, but now they don't seem to do that. It's 22. This is exactly 24 so close but I can't quite get to it. It's that one. And finally, if I can reach it, I'm going to have to reverse back. Yes, it, it's come to the stage where I have actually bought too much stuff. So for all of you wondering how this thing actually unloads, we're now going to be given a demonstration. Should I dump them in the field or should I put them somewhere else? I don't know. Here we go. So some say it tips up, most say it doesn't. Uh, it's tilting. It's just going to slide them off, isn't it? So if everybody said it just slides them off, you are correct. And that is actually really neat, as long as they don't all burst and go everywhere. Uh, it's settling. That's pretty good. I mean, it's it's not super neat, but that's perfectly good enough for a stack of bales. I think only this one messed up, so yeah. I'd give that a 9.5 out of 10. You lost half a point because of this bale. Right, okay, so there's your demonstration of the uh, RBM 2000. Now I have had a request to use the, uh, the other smaller square baler wrapper thingy. Not wrapper. Pick a rapper. <laughs> Auto stacker. So let's go. Just sort of doing community requests here. If anybody wants me answering to do with the DLC, I can attempt to demonstrate it. Yep, Mr. Corsi, you were right. Put the bumper on. I uh, probably should have done actually, but I don't necessarily require it. But I've demonstrated the wood chips a bit, and also I did a video on it earlier, so that's nice. And I can also do some more work with that later in the video because I do own that tractor. Uh, Jack says uh, the stack is realistic because this it, that is what would happen in real life situations depending on how level the ground is. Yep, absolutely. No problem with it. Right, I've left it a bit tight here. How often do you stream? Uh, it's usually about once a week, but this week I've actually done it about three times. Yeah, so we've got the same approach again. It's just going to pick them up like that and I think it's going to tilt back. The bumper is going to be handy because yeah, it would push it around instead of driving into it with the front axle which is just going to do a load of damage. Are you late? No, well you kind of are. You're 52 minutes into the stream but it's alright. You can also backtrack.
Now Liam says if you put the bumper on the front you can bail in line without having to do it offset. Oh yeah, that, actually that is true, because yeah, you could push it around, couldn't you? Nudge it around. So I've got 5 out of 14 currently on here. Louis, I'm reading the chat. There's a lot of messages. Show the feeding kit? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that later. Cruise director? No, I'm not a real farmer. Andy, again. Hi again, Dagger. Just a quick question. Could you add the deck chair for sleeping mod into multiplayer? I'll definitely look into it. Is it. If it's a multiplayer compatible mod, then yeah, I'll put it on. It's a good idea. Unless all the players start lounging around in deck chairs, of course. Farmer Wood, how was your day? I uh, love your videos. You're the best. Thank you so much, Farmer Wood. It's been very good, thanks. Hopefully yours has been uh, good too. Jack, we uh, Jack Wing says Anderson DLC looking awesome so far. Wish they will bring out the class DLC. Yeah, there's actually no confirmation or anything, even any news of a class DLC. But I think everybody's just sort of guessed that at some point there will be one. So now it's so mentioned and so requested, I am assuming that uh, Giants just gonna have to look into getting it. But if they can't get licensing or something, then it's not gonna be possible. David Cox uh, just started playing Mara Manor on console in my big rig. God love technology. That is brilliant. Really, it's such a good map too. I think pretty much everybody loves this map. Not everybody. There might be a few, but it is definitely up there uh, with... In fact, it probably is the most popular map so far for 19. Right, I need to put that into transport position. What is your favourite alcoholic drink? Hmm. You're not going to like me for this, but it's shandy. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't. I'm not a big fan of alcohol, to be honest. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll get this loaded up into the uh, inline wrapper. When is the Let's Play starting again? I'll be doing another Let's Play on here on Monday. Possibly before. The Flying Roy says there is a 24 square belt stacker, isn't it? Yep, I was using it earlier. Uh, we've now moved on, so if you want to see that in action, just you know, roll back in the stream and you should find it. Uh, did I leave the... I left the engine running, I think. So this is the demonstration of tipping this one up. Uh, I might have to go a bit further. Um, so yeah, it doesn't tilt up. It just pushes them off the back. Whereas the, the bigger one, the 16-bell one, that lifts it up. So that's interesting. Different ways of doing it. I suppose this is good for putting them into a shed which is fairly low. It's got a really low roof and you can't tip up. This is perfect. Uh, drive forward slowly, that'll help. Good suggestion. And also don't drive into it. It's now rolling forwards. Should take that one. Yep. Actually, I think it is easier to do two together instead of just one or three. Three didn't really work. They just sort of roll out. Larry! Hi, Dagwin. You are the best. Hope you can get to 500k, but can you pre order the DLC on console? Um. To my knowledge, 
don't know if you can. I did actually... Well, actually, there is a... Uh, if you go on the official website, it does tell you on there if it can be pre-ordered for console. I can't remember. I don't tend to follow console stuff because I only play on PC. I don't actually have a console. So, yeah, best place to find out is actually the official website. Sorry to be so unhelpful, but thank you for your super chat. No, I, I do not live on a farm. At least, I don't live on a farm that I own. <laughs> uh, JJTV, I am from the UK, Macclesfield. I love the video, you're the best. Thank you. I am the beast, apparently. Yeah, this is easy. I actually prefer this over the other stacker. I know I'm really close to 500k, but it just it's a bit, a bit slower than it used to be. I used to get like three or 400 subscribers a day, and now it's down to just over 100, but still good. It's ever since YouTube stopped sending out the notifications, it slowed down. Come on, eat the bales. Well, so far we've got a pretty good line here. And yeah, you can do this with round bells as well. You don't have to do it with square bells. This one, uh, this... What, which one is it? It's the hybrid. The hybrid X. This one can do round bells and square bells. The other one is only for round bells. So this one is more expensive. It is a good auto stacker for unloading indoors. Probably, yeah, you probably wouldn't want, to, wouldn't want to use it at all unless you're doing this outdoors because um, it takes up a lot of space, but perfect for a low roof barn. But that is another load cleared. Jason, thank you for that. Massive thank you. Very generous. No message there, but even so. Come on, get back in. Doesn't want to wrap. Unless that's the end. Maybe it's as far as we go. Nope. So yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's endless. I don't judging by the length of it so far, I can't see any reason why I wouldn't just keep going. Unless of course you stop it. If you if you break it off, then that concludes it. So uh yeah, let's go and get another load. I've got to reverse out of here. Does it take loose grass or chaff? No, it has to be a bale. Pretty sure it has to be a bale. Because it's got nothing to to wrap. It, it, it just it has to be compacted into a bale to work. I've got quite a few bales to bring over too. I think I've got over a hundred in total. So it's like a never ending job. But I would say the wrapping process was still made faster by it putting them in twos instead of threes. And yet, yeah, Simar, that was your suggestion to cut through there. A very good suggestion. Because I think if I hadn't looked at that, I would have just done something very destructive and cut a load of trees down unnecessarily. Which would have been, you know, quite fun, but at the same time kind of pointless if there's a perfectly good cut through. And I am two subscribers off 497,000 subscribers. Quite a long way to go to 5,000 really because it's actually almost 3,000. I've just hit it 497 but it could go down. It's gone down. Okay. 496, 999, 998. I've lost two. Oh no. This is why you can't really do a 500k special or anything and say so you're quite a long way above it because if you do a special like you might get a gang who uh, are all subscribed and they'll unsubscribe and you go below 500 again. Wow. Rapid. Actually, this is a good place. This is the perfect auto stacker for this shed here. You can actually get the other auto stacker lifted all the way up here 
but you can't get it into the corners like over here. So actually putting them across here would be perfect. Anyway, let's go back to the bigger one. Weird, I'm using the smaller one with the bigger tractor. Yes, I am th uh, four, three, four su subscribers. It keeps going down. Four subscribers above 497. I reckon when I do streaming, everybody just keeps hitting unsubscribe and resubscribe, <laughs> which is, uh, I guess, something which has always happened with everybody. Because it's so amusing to influence the uh, the counter. If you haven't subscribed, then it'd be great if you could do. Wow, that counter is going crazy. It went from uh, 497007 all the way down to 496996. Okay, I'm losing them. Let's get back up. Let's see if we can hit uh, 497. 010. See if we can get it there. Yeah, everybody is now unsubbing because I mentioned it. Everybody resubscribe. <laughs> that would be a good thing to do. We have got so many here. I would. Yeah, I think we should get the bumper. I could really do with the bumper. I'll go and grab it. That's true, yeah. The stream, at the moment at least, hasn't frozen. So that's good, because yeah, in the previous stream it was going all crazy and every 20 minutes or so it just kept dropping out and then reconnecting. Why am I not reading the chat? I am reading the chat because I just read your message. Does anyone know anything about Mahindra tractors from Jake? Uh, I think they're, they're relatively cheap tractors. I don't really know what they're like, but yeah, I think they're fairly cheap as in price. No idea about the quality. Yeah, it looks pretty neat. The stack of bells just there. Right, so here is the bumper. I know that quite a few of you have requested to have it, so... Ah. Yes, I haven't got the option on of having a front three-point linkage, but you can fit one. Stick it on the back and take it over to the John Deere. Bruce says, do you think they will fix the tractor sounds like add grass changes and stuff make it more real sounding all the as far as I'm aware all the current tractors in the game are actually recorded off wheel tractors I think because um, there's plenty of photographs on Giants' Twitter and stuff about them going out with microphones and all the recording equipment and recording off the real thing so I think the, the sounds are realistic but as for you know it really grunty engine sounds. I'm guessing they haven't got that diverse with the sounding, but it's pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't never complain about the sound of the tracks. I think they're pretty good. EJ Crazy Fish. Why is everybody saying that I'm not reading the chat? I'm reading it continually. Maybe some things aren't coming through. Right, so, the plan of action is to get another load done, and then I think we'll get things wrapped up. The bales and the stream. So, <laughs> we've got another 16 to go, and we're going to demonstrate the uh, the bumper. I'm not very good with bumpers, so I've never really used them before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. But then again, I never really know what I'm doing, so nothing really changes. Gav says the bumper is for use with bio bale to push poplars down when used in line. I did think it was, but I've had requests to use it here too. So we use it. We use it for these. Wow, 
Right. It's mainly on here because so many people have requested it to be fitted to the John Deere. But if a bale is in the way, then obviously it's going to push it. Because we've got one up here which is actually at right angles. Perfect! It does, it's good. It has multiple uses. It might have to be lowered. Here we go. Perfect, that's good. It is, it's just for the poplars and the bales, whatever you want to use it on. Do you have Twitch? No, I don't. Although there is somebody on there called Daggerwin who took my name. I don't think they upload anything. There's also an Instagram account which is impersonating me. I don't have Instagram, so if you're, if you're, you know, connected to anyone there called Dagwin, it's not me. I do not have an Instagram account. Space for two more. How are you going to sell the poplars? Well, somebody said earlier that you have to put it into the wood chipper, the bale, and put the bale into the wood chipper to produce wood chips. That might work, that might be the way you do it, but I always thought that you just took it over to the sell point and you sold the bale. So, it's something I need to do in the future, either in the next episode or in the next stream. We'll do a bit of trial and error, because, yeah, there's quite a few days until this is actually released. How old is your YouTube account? This one is 2014. I didn't really start though until the end of 2014. But the first ever YouTube account I had was in 2007. Lofi007. Favourite FS game? Yours or mine? If it's yours then great. I, I like you too. Very good. I prefer 17 currently just because of the more, more mods. But yeah, 19 is definitely going to overtake. This map is called Marwell Manor Farm, EJ Crazy Fish. It is on Mod Hub. Right, so the final 16 bales. Going into the new area. Now, this is quite a few, so it's going to be going... That line's going to end up somewhere way over there. But first, let's tip this up. Uh, that six hour is a workhorse. It is, yeah. It's done 14.3 hours so far. It does pretty much every job on the map. But we do also have the uh, little compact as well. Which I do like. Here it is. Nice little compact utility tractor. Okay. We need the money to. There it is. Yeah, so as I'm doing this, if you want to write any more questions, then please feel free to. We'll be finished after we've wrapped up. Literally. When this version gets seasons and some more mods, will it outclass 17? Definitely. Yeah, 17 is only superior at the moment because of the the extremely good mods which are still out there for it. Seasons and all the other mods. But yep, yeah, as this one grows, obviously it's gonna overtake. And eventually, it'll be way better than 17. Oh. One at a time is definitely recommended. Do you watch Squirrel? I have watched him many times before. Not watched him recently, but I think he has just started to put some more videos on. Uh, Farm Like a Bomb says, I agree, Seasons will complete this game. How can a farming game be released without Seasons? 
Yeah, I understand what you're saying there. I think they did try it or something, but uh, I don't know if they ran out of time or what. I don't know the story behind it, but there's something. I think it's because, uh, yeah, it's just too close to the deadline to get it all implemented. Oh no, I've pulled it. I've, I've actually pulled it out of its socket. And that's messed it up. Although it can... Yeah, that's, that is good. It can recover. I don't know how far you go before it actually breaks it, though. How much is the DLC? It is ten dollars nine ninety nine. How do you move them? You wouldn't. You can't move them once they're like this. What you have to do is... Oh no, I've got stuck again. You have to uh, open them up and then you can uh, pick them up individually and sell them or do whatever you want. If you if you open them, you can then pick them all up again with Nautosaka, I think. Um, and then either take them to the farm for storage or whatever. Although, once you've opened them, chances are you're going to use them. I think what you tend to do is only uh, open the ones you actually need. So if, you, if you're going to be using them for feed, you just open a couple, use them, and keep the others wrapped up, and then you come back to them later. Well, this is getting done fairly quickly. But yeah, of course, if you're going to sell them, you're going to have to open everything. Yeah, I've already shown the uh, round bale uh, auto stacker, and I was quite impressed. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, that's true. Try steering the wrapper so it's back in line. There we go. Good suggestion, because it is going a bit offset. I wonder if you can actually push the bells back to the centre again to make it nice and neat. I think what we'll do is try that. Once I've done this, I'm going to try and push them to make it all nice and uh, level. Because at the moment, it's all a bit too... <laughs> you know, it's a bit like a snake. When is the next roleplay video? It's going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Assume, yeah, that, that's that's if you're actually watching in the UK. UK morning. This time are you going to feed the animals? Of course, I always feed the animals. Although most of this is going to be just sold. Uh, 40 kitten double O. Hello Darwin, it's a beautiful day in Australia. I hope you're going. I hope you're doing well, and have a wonderful stream. Shout out uh, to my friend Christian, who watches all of your videos. Yet again, thanks, Dagwin. Well, there you go. Shout out to uh, Christian there, and of course you, Forty Kitten Double O. Uh, massive thank you for your, your super chat there. It means a lot. And isn't it always a beautiful day in Australia? Not sure. Right. So there we go. Uh, yeah, so let's just try and push it. Uh, I've been crashed into by the extractor. Still can't really believe that it runs off a little single cylinder petrol engine. 20 horsepower. Oh, look at that. You can. You can make it all nice and straight. If that's your kind of thing, of course, if you want to make a straight line of bales. And you can tell they're all connected together. How long is left? Yeah, we're going to finish in a minute. Just having to play around, neatening things up. I could do this forever, but I'm not going to. 20 horsepower is twin cylinders. Pretty sure this one is single. We can see it. Uh, the way it's going off to the side makes you think that it's single. I mean, it is, that is high horsepower for a single, but it is possible. 
Uh, Briggs and Stratton do actually make a 22, possibly a 24 horsepower single cylinder. That looks more like a Honda, but can't say. Anyway, we don't need to get into a debate about what cylinder the engine is. Try it through there. Might be twin. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. If it is, it's a V-twin. Right, so, that is my sort of first look video, second first look stream thing for the Anderson DLC. Down below is a link which takes you to the Giants website. Um, once you're on there you can change your language. It's probably defaulting to German since that is the uh, affiliation link. But yeah, you can pre-order it there for PC and find out more information about it. And uh, yeah, we're going to leave it there. So thank you to everybody who has tuned in. And obviously a massive thank you to everybody who has uh, given a super chat. Always means a great deal to me. Uh, very helpful. So... Uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day or a great rest of your evening. And for anybody in the UK, I'm sure it's probably about bedtime. Unless you're on a night shift, in which case, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.